Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot, and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Gemini might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon I think you guys will like. Okay, so this reading is for Gemini, and it's for mid-month, April 2020. Keep in mind that all tarot readings are timeless, so whether you come across this reading right after I upload, a week, month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading. And if you feel like it doesn't completely resonate with you, keep in mind that... This is just a generalized reading, and that's why it's important to know your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and all your other placements in your chart so that you can listen to your other signs for additional messages. Okay, so with that being said, welcome to our little hippy-dippy camper in the woods in the swamp outside New Orleans while we are practicing social distancing. I hope you guys are staying safe. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of Gemini and ask our angels, guides, and ancestors for any love messages for Gemini for mid-month, April 2020. <clears throat> and one more time. Okay, now I'm going to divide these into three stacks. One, two, three. Oops, sorry about the wobble there. Okay. Okay. All right, the card of the bottom of the deck is the Six of Pentacles. Now, this card is going to be the overall energy for this reading. So, as we go through this spread, I'm going to show you how this card's going to relate to the other cards that come up. And the Six of Coins talks about <clears throat> that give and take, where there should never be someone in a relationship that's doing the majority of the giving, and the other one always seems to be taking, and, you know, you feel like you are a beggar when you have to, uh, you know, constantly remind the other person that they need to do their part in the relationship, okay? I'm going to place that right there. And for those of you who are new here, I do four rows okay and the first row is for you it's for something you might have recently dealt with something you're currently dealing with and people places and situations that are coming towards you and the second row is for your beloved intended twin flame soulmate karmic partner um, an ex that you still feel that tie with that you really want a reconciliation with. It could be somebody you just met or whoever is the first person you're thinking of in the morning when you wake up and the last person you're thinking of when you go to sleep at night. Now the third column is about our obstacles and challenges, fears and anxieties. And the fourth is outcome. All right, now I've just laid out two cards in each row for this eight cards. And I'm going to do this little thing two more times for a grand total of 24 cards so by the time we get to the end of the spread we have a pretty good idea of what's going on <clears throat> okay for you we have the five of swords as well as the page of swords okay Gemini you know you're an air sign so this is in your column and this is pertaining to you and you are kind of in a situation right now where you have a lot to say and you are pretty much letting people know exactly what it is you want and what you expect out of life and people are giving you a hard time and they're not taking you seriously and it's pretty much you know you're having the problem that uh, you get so frustrated that you may end up calling names uh, or picking petty fights to get your point across because you're not being taken seriously because of that resentment. That's never really a good thing to do. You see in this picture, this person's walking away because they just don't want to participate in the pettiness or the arguing. They don't want to be arguing with you. So, you know, you're going to have to really think over how it is that you need to communicate with your person, 
okay and that's what pages are all about they're always about some type of communication so be sure that when you are dealing with your partner if you have needs that are being unmet okay it's very important that you communicate in a style that they are able to grasp you know we all have different communication styles depending on how we, how we were raised where we were raised all those things uh, sometimes there's cultural differences and different ethnic backgrounds and people are raised differently and they respond to different types of communication so yeah you guys are going to if it's really important to you you're it would be worth it to you to uh, learn a better way to communicate with your partner all right so your partner is basically most likely an earth sign because here we have this queen of pinnacles and this is somebody who is uh, focused on that stability that loyalty that trust what they really expect from you they are looking forward to having a very successful relationship with you here is your ace of swords and again aces or about those uh, new beginnings, those new starts. It's about, you know, overcoming um, problems that arise in the situation. And the swords, of course, represent air signs. So they are viewing you as someone that they really want to have it all with. But, <clears throat> you know, you're, they may not be doing their part to the point that you're feeling like uh, they are not holding up their end of the bargain. So your obstacles and challenges are, you know, you've considered walking away from the relationship. You're considering just packing your things and moving on. Six of Swords talks about uh, trips over, you know, voyage over water. It talks about leaving the past behind. It talks about starting over. And when you do these things, you know, your earth sign, this page of pentacles is going to communicate to you that this is not what they really want. That they really want that home with you. They want that life with you. They want that family. And they don't want you moving away from them. So you're going to have to think really long and hard you don't want to make uh, empty threats but you do want them to understand that uh, you do have boundaries and you have things in your life that you uh, expect from a relationship and if they're not doing what you need to do you know nobody's forcing you to stay there uh, you absolutely have the right to be happy and to move on so here we are Gemini we have you as the queen of swords all right so this is you cutting out all of the foolishness if your partner's not been holding up their end of the bargain if they are not taking the relationship as seriously as you want them to no matter what they're feeling if they may really want to but they may not actually be showing it in the way that you need and in order to have this become successful, you're going to have to, you know, let them know, um, I'm not controlling you. I don't have any control over what you want to do. But if you want to be with me, these are the things that I expect out of the relationship. And speaking up, okay, is the only way that your partner is going to know that. And it's the only way that it's going to keep you from feeling resentful and starting these little petty arguments. Um, not everybody is a mind reader. Not everybody is uh, in a place where they can just pick up on what you're thinking and what you're feeling. Uh, like I said earlier, everybody communicates in a different style. Okay, so now we're going to do the second row and we have the Empress and we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, and then in your partner's column we have Three of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Um, obstacles and outcome we have the eight of swords and the seven of wands and in outcome we have four of pinnacles and the world all right now the reason I chuckled is you know the Empress all right all you lovely air signs everyone knows that the Empress talks about fertility talks about motherhood talks about um, you know beauty art aesthetics all those things but springtime and everybody's in quarantine and there's not a lot of things to do except to behave passionately so unless you really 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 are wanting to bring a new life or a new baby into the world it's a time that you really need to take precautions especially if you are in separation from your main person and you are partaking in a little 
extracurricular activity, so to speak. Uh, you don't want to uh, maybe have a baby from somebody else when you are trying to work out a relationship with your other person. Okay? All right. And I, I read in the news that there's actually a condom shortage because the factory that makes them is in China or someplace that makes like the majority of the condoms in the world and you know they're closed down so be careful <clears throat> all right your partner is feeling that they still put you up on this pedestal they still think of you as something they admire that they're proud of that they want to show off to the world and claim you as their better half or uh, their partner or their wife or husband or whatever and they, they really like showing you off but there is more to a relationship than being um, you know a trophy wife or arm candy to somebody and if as you take on the persona of the Queen of Swords and you draw your boundaries and things like that you are causing your partner to take time out and to reflect on what it is you actually want and what it is they would actually be losing if they don't get it together okay now in your obstacles and challenges we have the eight of swords and we have the seven of wands so here you are and you're probably just you know you 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 want your person to stop acting the way that they are you're kind of afraid to move on from this relationship this column isn't actually about facts but it's about your feelings you have to be really careful with your feelings and your thoughts because the more you think of things just like with the law of attraction you can actually manifest these things in your life so unless you are uh, you know really wanting your fears and worries and troubles to uh, come to life right before your eyes be careful with what you think so you know there is life without this person there was life before this person if you choose that you want to stay with this person then you're going to have to overcome your fears and be able to speak up and let them know what it want what they want otherwise it's going to put you in a position where you are feeling defensive like you're always you know like they always have something coming at you and you're always having to defend the way you're feeling or talk to the, you know if they're not doing what they want and you are put into the position of being the nag or you know the B word all right all right in the outcome we have the world and we have the four of Pentacles so this is showing me that you know your person really really is trying to hold on tightly to this relationship for whatever reason that there might be uh, either they love you there could be children involved there could be whatever you know basically they love you and they see you as their world but you know Sometimes in relationships, one or the other partners gets lonely or they just expect because you love them so much that you are going to do all the work in the relationship to maintain it and keep it going. And again, you know, that's not fair to you. And that's what this, this card we talked about at the beginning is all about. It's about both people doing their share so that one side of the relationship doesn't feel like they're the one doing all the giving. All right, now in our last and final column for you, we have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Okay, both of those are major arcana, and they have very strong energies and influences on what's going to happen. Your partner has the Ten of Wands and the Hanged Man. Your obstacles and challenges are the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Okay, they look scary, but like I said, these are your feelings and thoughts and fears is not necessarily what's going to happen but you have to be careful not to dwell on it so much your outcome is the ace of cups and the five of pentacles now i'm going to go ahead and draw two additional cards we have temperance as well as the five of wands all right so i just drew two more for clarifiers is what that was about all right, so in this first column with you, yes, you're marriage-minded. You want to have a family. You want to settle down, or you want a very long-term relationship. And the high priestess tells me that you need to sit back and you need to think this over. If this is the person that you really, really want to be with, if this person is worth all that trouble to you, that you always happen to fight and struggle to get your uh, needs fulfilled and met, 
So it's time for you to reflect on this and decide if this is actually the relationship you want to be in. So with your partner, I'm seeing the Ten of Wands as well as the Hanged Man. So the Hanged Man tells me that, you know, there's probably not going to be that much change come from your partner. Uh, they're kind of lazy in the situation. They are not wanting to uh, have the growth that's needed in order that you have what you need in the relationship with as well. And they're carrying with them, you know, all these burdens of, it, I don't know, it's like, um, you know, these crackheads that you see that don't have jobs, but they spend so much time and energy just trying to get five dollars when they could have spent that eight or ten hours at an actual job so this person is carrying all this with them because they are expending all this energy staying at, they, they want to take and take and take but they're not wanting to give back and they are bringing with them to this relationship all these burdens that are being placed on you for you to carry as far as being the one responsible for all the needs being met in this relationship and there's no change anytime soon coming from this person. Either they are just incredibly selfish or they don't. I don't want to say they don't care, but it's not as important to them as it is to you. Okay. So your obstacles and challenges are the Nine of Wands as well as the Ten of Swords. So... The Nine of Wands tells me that, you know, you're feeling kind of defensive. Do I speak up and make my mind up like the Queen of Swords and cut this person out of my life and like the Six of Swords move on from this relationship because I know that I deserve better? Because when I know that I stay in this relationship, I'm continuously, continuously being hurt and betrayed and not happy. So in your outcome, we have the... Ace of Cups as well as the Five of Pentacles. Now these two cards are very contradictory to themselves. So it tells, and this is why I drew two more clarifiers, it's because the Ace of Cups talks about finding that peace and joy and happiness in your life that overflows into all areas of your life and allows you to be happy. And this Five of Pentacles talks about feeling lost and um, broken and you know, without your partner, without the things that you need. Now, your partner is going to end up feeling like this without you when you walk away. Uh, they may later on realize what your value was to them. But in the meantime, you're going to feel a great sense of relief leaving this relationship and finding happiness elsewhere, okay? So, your clarifiers are the temperance for you, which tells me that, you know, you will find this balance when you leave this relationship. You don't have to stay uh, unequally yoked to a person who is not on the same level with you mentally, physically, spiritually, however, that, uh, you know, you will find someone who is on the same page as you are as far as the outcomes that you want. And your partner that you're leaving behind they're not going to like it, of course. They're going to pick fights. Uh, they will gossip about you when you leave. They will start problems and, you know, just the same general petty, low vibrational energy that they've always presented to you in this relationship. Because now they don't have you as their source or their honey hole. And by honey hole, I mean like when people go fishing and they have their favorite spot and it's always got something in there for them. Um... You've just reached a point where you're just not going to allow yourself to be used anymore. Okay, so Gemini, that is your reading for mid-April 2020, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much. I just passed the 3,000 subscriber mark today. Um, my channel's not even a year old, and I am tickled, okay? And thank you guys so much for all of your uh, likes, shares, subscribes, comments, all of that. And for those of you who have so generously donated to my channel, thank you very much. It's enabled me to be able to separate myself from the population and come out into the swamp and self-isolate. Okay, thank you guys. Love you. See you soon.